Oh, hello there. How's it going? So this is my Doom review. The new Doom. Just gonna have a little talk about it. My views, my thoughts. My ultimate decision. First of all, let's start off with... I like this game. It's a good game. And, uh, for a person who's played the old one, and deemed the old one as being a very good game, the pinnacle, really, the starter of um, first-person shooters. <coughs> uh, as I said, this and Duke Nukem, for me, back in the day on the old, what was it, on PlayStation? Was it the first time? I think it was on PlayStation, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, they were brilliant, weren't they? They were so much fun. You know, unbelievable. You know, it's the type of game that you could play now, even in this day and age, and still be like, ah, it's still a little bit of fun. And what this one does compared to like Duke Nukem was the remake of that. <laughs> Let's not even go there, shall we? I don't think we should. A fucking disgrace. I mean, to start off with, what this game has got straight away, which is kept from the original, it's got a variety of weapons. You'll see in this clip now, that's the big fucking gun that is. You press square to use that. I quite like the, good, the concept that they've done there. You've got grenades. You've got... Look at all those weapons there. There is a good variety. It's not like... You have to... Can your character carry all those guns at the same time? I don't think it's very practical. Shut the fuck up. Shut up. It doesn't matter. Look at the whole fucking... The whole fucking game isn't practical, is it? You stupid mongoids. If I want to be able to just carry about two guns or three guns at the most... Then I'll play a realistic game. But if I want to hunt fucking aliens, oh, this is a beautiful addition as well. Fuck you, chop you in half forever. Yeah, if I want, if I want to play a realistic game, then I'll play a realistic game. If I want to play a stupid game where my character can jump 25 things in the air and my health is silly, the enemies are silly, as in, I I'll play a game like this. Keep it at that. Duke Nukem, you fucking mongs only allowing me to carry two guns at the, at the same t at once but still give me boss like fucking enemies to take on hello hello uh before i go into things like graphics and shit like that uh again i'm gonna compare it to why it's good to the other other doom game why it, i mean for one what i like is i ain't got time to play on the computer for like 300 million hours at a time so again you know if I, it's like games like Fallout for me, Fallout 4, I like them, but they kind of overwhelm me, there's like too much to do, I just don't, I feel like as if, when I do be able to play on it for like 3-4 hours at a time, I haven't really progressed, fuck all, because game's that big. What I like about this, even though the campaign is like some like 20 odd, uh, odd hours, something like that, if you do it properly, uh, that's, that's, that's a good amount of time, but... You felt like you're progressing. I liked the fact that it was like mission orientated. You know, it's simply get from one end of the map to the other. There's not. There's a couple of areas where you can go in order to unlock fucking. Oh god, that's a beautiful part. There's a couple of things you can do in order to unlock secrets, but they're not really you know ridiculously out the way. They just say like, open a door, make a jump. Do you know what I mean? So I like that. It's nice. To, nice to have a game like that because there's too many of them. Like, you know, The Witcher and, as I said, Fallout and stuff like that, they're so fucking big. And even though, as I said, they're good for some people who've got a lot of time on their hands, real fucking dedicated gamers, but I'm not one of them. So this was a nice change. You know? Uh, again, what they're keeping good from the old Doom. Um, the door is nice. That's brilliant. Like, look at these. This That is a well-welcomed addition to the game. And once you get your character, the, the enemies to a certain health period or level, I should say, you can do like a, a finisher move, which is fucking awesome. I would have liked to see a little bit more of variation, and maybe like like the predator like had some sort of fucking my main guy had some sort of fucking blade coming out of his wrist instead of somehow punching their head off. You know, I didn't quite get that. I'm like, fuck me, mate. If you're that strong anyway, why the fuck are we using guns? But yeah, that that is still still brilliant. The way he kills some of them is is superb. I also love the fact, like I said, Dark Souls another good game for me because it's not it's not too open. And look, what I what I like about this game is that unlike Dark Souls for me, your character is 
fucking badass. You know, you're beating all these creatures and you feel like, yeah, I'm the fucking man. Because it's like the storyline is, is like you, you're resurrected. You are kind of like the original Doom guy and you're resurrected in order to prevent these guys from fucking taking over. And you're like in a sarcophagus and everything. So you are like a fucking god. And it's so nice to play like that. Because, you know, look at the fucking creatures you destroy inside. It's nice to feel that dominant, you know what I mean? So, sometimes you play these games, you know, uh, I'm no different to anyone else apart from I got a couple more spells or all my fucking big shitter about fucking Dark Souls. Is the only difference I've got to everyone else is I can heal like a fucking pussy. No, not on this, you know, you don't feel that way. I mean, obviously you are heating, but. You just feel like, no, no, I'm running this because of my fucking weaponry, the way I play, and because my bloke is fucking badass. So that was really, really well appreciated. The enemies, I mean, what's great is that they've picked some of the enemies. You probably, if you used to play Doom, you've already noticed quite a few, if not the vast, vast majority of being, uh, you know, enemies from the original Doom. And that is fucking ace. It's so nice to see them come back with... Uh, in better graphics and everything like that and uh, just smash their fucking face in so that was beautiful what I also loved about this is that there's, there's no sprint as such but your character's perfect, look at the way he moves He's, you know it's elegant, he moves really really well so that's the key for me for doing well in games like this is movement just go around, it seems to be health all over the place because your health does not regen so that was nice, that was a nice thing to finally you know, sometimes you feel like you need it, but you just don't need it on this because it, it stops you from doing a little bit of camping and playing altar. Because you have to heal, you're running around like I'm doing now, fucking smashing them. It's hectic. It's fucking beautiful. Uh, graphics. Let's start on graphics then. It looks really good, isn't it? I'm not a computer nerd like, but I think <laughs> it plays a 50 frames per second, where, sorry, 60 frames per second which is excellent, it felt really really smooth, I mean, as you can see, there's quite a lot of fucking shit going on here, it's about, you could be about 10, 12 enemies on the map, like, at any one time, and it, it didn't, didn't stall on me at all, played it on Playstation, didn't really stall on me at all, chainsaw, you press square, so square for the chainsaw, and you see in the bottom right there, you've got fuel, uh, the only little annoying thing is, is that, depending on how much fuel you get, will determine what level of monster you can cut up. So if you haven't got much fuel, then you can only, you know, kill like an imp or something like that, there's those little guys. But when you were able to do it, oh, it's fucking beautiful. You know, welcome addition to it, really. You know, who would survive a fucking chainsaw to the face? Yeah, and then the BFG gun, that's the triangle. That's so that kills everything within a certain radius. But, uh, yeah. Right, so there's a new thing. I don't remember bosses on Doom. I don't think I remember bosses on the original Doom, but this is the first boss. And for me, the fucking hardest. Uh, it's definitely the hardest for me, like, because what you do get is, obviously, as I said, your health can't regen. There's nowhere for me to hide. There's no health around the place, as you can see. So you're like, oh, fuck, you just got, your dodging's got to be fucking shit hot. Because if it isn't, you're fucked. No healthy regen, there's, there's no medi packs or anything like that that you can carry. So, yeah, you don't get it right, you don't get it sussed out, and this guy's gonna fucking beat you because he takes, he takes a lot of fucking hitting, like so. Yeah. Yeah, they did this so the cheeky little fuckers, right? If you notice, I've just beaten the boss in the first stage, not knowing that there's going to be a second stage straight after. So, I used all my fucking BFG weapons and stuff like that. You know, when I wouldn't have used it in the first fight, the first fight was a lot easier. Yeah, um, yeah there you go, I was like, fuck me, dead. But, they, those, those fights were good. Right, this bit, talking about the mechanics of the game. So, this, this little flick here is what makes your character, you, you, you collect them and your character fucking does this, right? So look at this shit, environmental, if you just read them, they are shit. This is what i got a problem with, yeah? I, I don't give a fuck really about what, what these are, what they do. There's 
that's the best one equipment equipment system because it enables me to have more grenades which were fucking helpful really helpful as the game went on um because you can have like about two at one time and throwing them out they're fucking powerful so that was good but everything else you felt like no i could not bother putting any of those up it won't make any difference so it was kind of pointless here's the weapons then so you've got basically the shotgun and for everything there's like two if you notice, so it's tactical scope, and then the other thing is like a missile launcher for that, for example. So for all these weapons, you've got two things that you can unlock. You find like these little floaty things around the, the map, and you can you basically unlock the second or a primary. So it's like three primary functions on your guns. You've got your original, then your secondary, which can be like a scope on something as simple as that. The shotgun has a grenade launcher you can unlock. Uh, so that's good, that was really good because that does make a big difference and then as the game goes on if you kill things in a certain way or uh, as you kill things you can upgrade them yeah so you saw all the guns you have there as well so that that was that was alright but the little little clips on people <sighs> and then here we go right so this is, this is basically showing all the guns that you have near the end and what the first thing is, and the second thing is, there's that, there's that little robot that I was talking about, you can see behind there. You find them, and you can basically unlock primary function and secondary function. What I didn't realise is, is that as you go through the, the game, um, when you meet one of them, I thought, oh, I've unlocked one for each one, so I don't need them anymore. I was like, why are they still here? Well, you can still unlock two at the same time, and then swap between them at will by pressing up on the on the control pad, I was like, oh fucking hell, well thanks for telling me that, but it didn't really matter, because I liked one a lot more than the other, I didn't really feel like, oh I really need two, so that that didn't really make much fucking difference to me really, but still pretty cool, uh, I was happy about it, so I liked the fact that they did that, it just gave a little bit of variety and longevity to the game as well, trying to get you, your weapons up. Uh, this little thing here is basically the things you find around the map, which enables you to just adjust your health, your armor, your ammo. So you've got to try and go out your way to try and find them. As I said, it's not that bad. You just go, you just find one path and do that one jump, when otherwise you probably miss it. Yeah. So as I said, going back to the secondary boss, fucking hell, they're just, they're just, they're just jammy with it. Like you know, they didn't. I didn't know. Oh, it was going to be a secondary one straight away, and you've used up all your fucking. BFG, big fucking gun they call it, you know, on using him in the first stage because he didn't do this thing where he traps me. This guy gave me a lot of fucking shit. Yeah, see, it's all about the fucking dodging, which fucked me off. You know, it took me a while to beat that gun. I played this game on medium. There's three difficulties. I don't know if you get more as you complete it. I didn't think I did. There's medium, sorry, easy, medium, and hard. They, just, they, they kind of like uh, don't call it that. But yeah, easy, medium, and hard. So I played it on medium, and apart from the boss fight, the first and second one, the first was the hardest, second was second hardest, and then third, believe it or not, final boss was the easiest. But one thing that, I don't know when you get it, but one thing that I found probably why the second and the third were so easy is that you get a grenade. So if you look at, look at um, to the right of the screen there, you got, now I've got three, when earlier if you look at the other videos, you see I've only got one, just a grenade. But you do somehow pick up one a hologram, which is like another member it's like a, it's like a U, but it's like a hologram, and it shoots them with a plasma gun uh, for for a amount of time. And I think you can put two of them out at the same time. The bosses I don't think are, are full by it though, so it's not like as if you can shoot away while they keep on getting that. So they're not too handy, I didn't really use it and fuck all. But the other grenade is it kind of like puts like a shield um, sorry like like a uh, a force field or something like that around the creature. It can still move as such, but it, it absorbs their health and transfers it onto you. Oh, as I said, if I had them for that first boss, that'd be a lot fucking easier, but I didn't at that point anyway. I don't know if you can get it for that first boss, but that would have really fucking helped. Oh, right, okay. Graphics good. As I said, gameplay, pretty good. What don't I like about the gameplay? Or the game? Two things. One, little bit repetitive not if you notice for me right when it's good it's fucking good it's hectic and this keeps on being fun really i find let's say like, you basically do something and it's like yeah we're going to send every fucking enemy and its mom over to your door now 
and see how you get on. And you know, when you get all the all the weapons and stuff, it becomes fun changing and getting a variety and stuff. So the and the enemies are good. They they all like feel different. You know, they all they've all got that kind of feeling. It's like these little guys, the little um fucking gorilla kind of like monster thing. They charge you. They've got no range attack. They charge you. They're fucking hard to deal with. These little flying guys are hard because most of the time they're too high to do your finishing move and they shoot range. Uh, you've got that bull Taurus thing, he's a bit of range and he's fast in melee. You've got the fat slobs who are mainly uh, fucking at range. Really slow so you don't have to worry about them. Imps, easy to kill but kill you from range. Each each enemy like has its, has its fucking point. So I thought the enemies were excellent. And when when the fight was going on, there was like I said, good variety, good fun. But if you weren't doing this, I mean, I've saved all the bits from when it went mental. But if I did like a walkthrough of this, oh God, beautiful. If I did a walkthrough of this, there's a lot of time when you're getting to these points and not doing anything. They don't really throw much enemies at you, you know. Unless you're doing like something like this, it's generally kind of bo quite boring and very easy. You won't find yourself, you know, being challenged apart from when it's the waves and the hordes as such. So, yeah, I thought they could have done a bit better there. Other thing that's really annoying, and the most annoying thing for me, was the weapons. they got quite a good variety, but it's just like, when you, for example, that gun, that, that laser gun, is the same ammo for the plasma gun. The heavy machine gun is the same ammo for the minigun. So we got to a point where, once I got the better gun, I wouldn't use the previous one at all. It's just shit. I think it would have been better if every gun had, had different ammo, so you'd have to make a decision. But as I said, generally, good game. So my final score for it is 4.5.